Today on this episode of D64, we are asking what, what is the most interesting thing that has happened at Emerson. And then we're with Mr. Pro. So, Mr. Pro, how long have you been teaching at Emerson? Well, Stephen, thanks for having me on the show. I've been teaching uh, at Emerson for five years. This is actually, so I started as a part-time teacher. This is my now third full year as a full-time teacher. So for these five years of Emer at Emerson, what classes do you teach? Um, so I've taught a, a range of classes. Here in the art department, we have a lot of uh, wonderful elective classes. Um, so the, we, we see a lot of sixth graders for sixth grade art and seventh graders for seventh grade art. Um, but some of the more fun, and, I, and I, I don't mean to say that all of our art classes are fun, but some of the more uh, like niche art classes would be like classes like AMPM, art materials and printmaking, uh, photography, painting and drawing, sculpture and ceramics um, are all kind of in the range of art classes that I teach here at Emerson. The most interesting thing that you've seen at Emerson while you've been here? Um, so I, I think this was pretty interesting. It was, it was kind of a, like a weird thing. It was a very cold day in February and one of our lovely eighth graders at the time decided to pull the fire alarm. So here we are on a, I think it was like negative three or four degrees outside. Uh, and it's in like the middle of the afternoon. So people didn't have their coats. So people are out there shivering and freezing and like short sleeve t-shirts and it was, it was a rough day. I felt so bad for one of the uh, little girls that I gave her my coat. Um, it was just a rough day all around though. It was, it was bad. Um, we had, we got to use the, uh, those like tin foil blankets for like the fireproofing to kind of like insulate people. Um, but it was, it was cold out there. We were out there for like a good half hour and then uh, we found out that it wasn't an emergency and somebody had made a poor choice. So that was unfortunate. Um, but that was one of the most interesting things I think that has happened here at Emerson. That's a very interesting story. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah. Thanks for having me on the show, Steven. I really, uh, really appreciate, uh, you, you asking for me to be on here. Thanks, man. Mr. Brinio. Mr. Brinio, how long have you been teaching at Emerson? Um, it's been a long time. I would say for sure over five years. Hmm. I have to think about that. All right. And what classes do you teach? Um, I teach science and marine bio, and I've also taught social studies, health, and other electives as well. That's very cool. What is the most interesting thing that's happened at Emerson? Okay. I think the most interesting thing that I really have to point out right now, and if you look right here, you'll notice we're painting, come on, come on, look at this, we're painting the walls. It's not blue and white like that anymore. It's colorful and bright. I think that's pretty cool and interesting. That's a good response. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Radio, for letting Gosh interview you. Thank you for having me. And we're gonna ask you a few questions. How long have you been teaching at Emerson? This is the start of my 19th year here at Emerson. And I've been teaching for this is my 23rd year overall of teaching. Uh, we have another question. So what classes do you teach? I teach um, all PE, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. I have taught some health in the past, but right now all PE in all grade levels. And for our last question, we will be asked the most interesting thing that happened here at Emerson. I think one of, there's been a lot of interesting things, but I think the biggest thing is when we did our St. Baldrick's assembly and the way that Emerson community came together and the students came together and the amount of money that we raised for St. Baldrick's was pretty awesome. Okay, well, that's all the questions we have for today. Okay. Thank you. Cool.